Yes, I will be very happy to meet him. He said on the crocodiles. But, but when they were in the center of the river, he told the monkey that I want to meet your heart and now I will eat your heart. The monkey thought of a plan. He said the crocodile, crocodile, but I forgot my heart on the tree. So the crocodile said that go and take your heart and give it to me. The monkey said that what a foolish crocodile you are. How you can take the hurt from the body and I give your you so sweet apples but now I will never do those apples now. You are not my friend. The the crocodile was very hungry and realized, realized his mistake moral. One should think thoroughly before taking any action. Assalamualaikum and good evening to all the my teachers and friends. My name is Daris Hazi from Satu Amanah. I'm going to tell you a story entitled The Sheeper Boy and the Wolf. Once upon a time, there was a sheeper boy who used to take if lock a sheep to the hill grass on the fresh green grass. Sitting there, he had nothing to do the whole day. One day, an idea stuck him. To overcome his boredom, he cried out, Wolf! Wolf! All, all the men come running with ya. Stick and to the up, this man found the wolf. The boy laughed. Ha 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 ha. Again, after a few days, he cried out, Wolf, wolf. And the villagers again came running up the, the hill only to find that the sheep boy had for it. Then he laughed and laughed. Next day, when his flock of sheep were grazing, he suddenly saw a wolf. He cried out aloud, Wolf, wolf, but, but no one come to rescue his sheep. The sheep boy returned from, from crying. Only with few of his sheep, the wolf had taken away one of his sheep, and few of his sheep had had fled. From that day onward, his promise promise never to lie again. Teacher us a moral lesson that. People refuse to believe a liar even when he is telling the truth. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Mawis bin Ahmad Sahrin. Today, I want to share a story about Bobo, a good bear. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a bear live with his stepmother. His name is Bobo. He's eight, 
eight years old. Every day, he needs to help stepmother to find some food. One day, his stepmother called a angry with him because of small mistake. I'm here, mother. I will come. Bobo, next time you need to bring a lot of food. If not, you, you cannot eat. Sorry, mom. I'm so hungry and exhausted. So that's why I cannot bring more food. I don't care. You must go now. Bobo crying and go to the river near his house. Suddenly, Bobo heard voice from the river and so, so appeared. Bobo, why are you crying? Tell me what's your problem. I have no friend. My mother want me to bring her some food. I will help you, but you need to help me. Can I help you? Please take me away from here. Okay, I can do it. Bobo catch the fish and put in to the aquarium. Every day when he wake up early in the morning, they are making foods already served. So they live happily ever after. Moral of the story are we need to be patient. We need to help each other. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello to my friends and beloved teacher. Today I'm going to share a story about the strange egg. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit. It was roaming here and there. Suddenly, it found a big, round, colorful ball. The rabbit picked it up and looked at it carefully. It was a very hard tool. Whose egg is this? The rabbit wondered. The rabbit called his friend Tofi. Is this a tiger's egg? He asked. Is the tortoise said no. The tiger egg is not so big. This is not the tortoise egg. The rabbit called his friend monkey and asked is this a camel's egg the monkey said no it is not a camel's egg as the egg of the camel is not colorful by now the rabbit was confused as to whose egg could it be he decided to call another friend of him, the stork. Is this an elephant's egg? The rabbit asked him. The shop placed the ball near him and poked it with its beak. The ball burst with a peace sound and the air 
this coming out of it the sock finally conducted that it was a wine egg yes it is a wine egg agree the rabbit the tortoise and the monkey they all laugh out with joy and jump happily thank you hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is nui fizana amani binti zainui today i am story telling about i am a monkey monkeys have long tails arms and legs monkeys like to eat food such as fruits insects and flowers monkeys can hold things with both fingers and toes monkeys have big ears so they can hear very well we describe many monkeys as a troop of monkeys monkeys swim from tree to tree using their long arms legs and tails monkeys live in the grass lands high plains and forests among the food monkey like bananas the most thank you for today bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to the honorable judge and all those watching i am alice arisha binti alim from nursery amana i would like to tell you a story entitled the clever monkey i hope you enjoy my story the clever monkey once upon a time there was a clever monkey he lived on a beautiful island in in an apple tree One day, a crocodile swam to the island. I'm hungry, he said. So the monkey threw a red apple to the crocodile. The crocodile munched and munched. The next day, the crocodile came back. Please, may I have two apples? He asked. He ate one and gave one to his wife. The crocodile went to see the monkey every day to listen his. tells and eat his apples he wanted to be clever just like the monkey the crocodile wife had an idea why you why don't you eat his heart then you be clever just like him the next day he said to the monkey come to my house we house lunch together to thank you for the apple but when he arrived the crocodile snapped and said monkey i want to eat your heart i can be as clever as you the clever monkey talked quickly and said but i haven't got my heart in on the land in an apple tree they they all went back to see the island wait here and i will get my heart said the monkey the monkey quickly climbed the the tree and sat at the top of oh, crocodile you are so greedy of course You can't have my heart, and now you can't have my apples. And the clever monkey laughed and laughed, laughed and laughed. Moral from this story: Don't unders unders underestimate yourself. Uh, 
they are beautiful in this world. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Diana Safia Binti Spaka from Sri Amana. Today, I want to tell a story about Kitty wants a box. This box is too big. This box is too tall. This box is too short. This box is too wide. This box is too perfect inside. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum Cikgu, the monkey and the crocodile. There was a monkey that lived on a very on the river bank. He eats the delicious berry every day. Once he saw a crocodile rest under the tree who looked tired and hungry. He gave the crocodile some berry. The crocodile took the monkey. Soon they become best friends. The monkey gave the crocodile berry every day. On day, the monkey gave the crocodile extra very to take home to his wife. His wife, a weekend crocodile, enjoy the sweet berry, but the they told her husband that she wanted to eat the monkey's hair heart as the what we sweeter. The crocodile was a set at first but delicious to guide into the wife. We said the next day he told the monkey that his wife if we I would the monkey home for dinner. As the crocodile carrying the monkey on his back as across the river, he told his about his wife plan to eat his heart. The monkey Ben Smart told the crocodile that he left his heart on the berry tree and he told get it. The crocodile police the took him back to the berry tree. On he check the monkey claim that auto the dream. <coughs> Why well, we keep the heart on a tree? You have betrayed my trust. We can never rest free again. The monkey told his friends. Said after losing his friend, the crocodile swim back to his weakened wife. Thank you.